All right, so in this video, I know my first one wasn't the best. Uh, I'm still learning how to edit. I'm still learning how to film. I'm still learning all of it. So, you know, bear with me on that that aspect. But I really want to, you know, reiterate the fact that I'm looking for people to actually interview. That's the main goal of this channel. So, I really can't say it enough. The more people that I have contact me the sooner I can start actually putting out the videos that I want to put out. And hopefully there'll be better content than me just walking around the city and, you know, coming back from getting groceries or whatever, but I really, really, really <laughs> hope people start contacting me. I hope people start seeing the videos and maybe they're interested in talking with me or, you know, whatever, whatever you want to say to the world for 15 minutes or so. It's up to you, it's kind of your 15 minutes of fame, not mine. I'm just the platform for you to speak on. So if, if you have any ideas, anything at all, just, just let me know. I'm open to any suggestions, literally any suggestions at all. You know, you can leave it down in the comments, you can email it to me directly. Uh, I'll answer either way. I mean, I really, I keep saying I really, geez. Either way. People hopefully will start contacting me and we'll be able to start getting videos together and I'd like to do a video a day, every day, you know, in a new place, a new person every day. Uh, a genuine, genuine, <laughs> genuine, genuine, genuine interaction between two different people that maybe have never met before or never would have. Um, hopefully soon I'll have an interview with Jamal Corey coming up. I know right now he's a little busy and he's trying to stay safe inside. He's he's a really, really good singer. I mean, he is very good. He's a street performer out here, but he's gonna be on The Voice, or he is on The Voice. I'm not sure which one it is. I know he travels already, but I'm looking forward to that very much so. There's a couple other people who I think are very interesting people, very interesting candidates but they're also staying safe right now. And, you know, if you're willing to risk it and come meet me, we can pick a place. I'm sure we can still find somewhere to sit down and do the interview, even if it's outside. Um, I'm up for anything, really. I just really want to get one of these videos out that are done the right way with the content that I want to put up. That way I'm not just posting a bunch of random crap that is just, Filler, you know what I mean? That's that's not what you think about when you're trying to to start a channel or something like that. But at least that's not what I think about. Like, oh, what kind of filler can I do? Yeah, I, I really want to put up stuff that y'all are gonna like, and I think that if I can pick the right places and you know find new activities every time or new businesses to go to and check it out, then, then I think it'd be a lot of fun. I think maybe. It'd be worth, you know, taking a look at or at least giving it a shot. Whether it's two minutes, five minutes, ten minutes, you know what I mean? It's up to you. But I'm really hoping for a good outcome on this. We'll see what happens. I'm really hoping for... Ah, oh, my arms get tired. Time to switch. Groceries on one hand, he's heavy. But I'm really hoping that it comes out well. I'm really hoping that I, I get emails and that I get a good response on it and get good feedback. Either way, I plan on continuing. Whether it's popular or not, it, it's what I enjoy. I have all the time in the world to do it right now. I mean, I live in VA housing, so my rent's taken care of and I don't have to make money off of this. I just. It, it's what I like to do, it's fun. It keeps it keeps my day going and keeps the world turning, keeps me occupied so I don't do anything dumb. Um, I don't know if you saw the name of my channel, but my name of my channel is From Addict to Anything. So I did struggle with addiction for a while there. Um, it was a real hard time in my life, but luckily I've pulled through it now. Oh, these cars are going by. I pulled through it now and I'm actually doing pretty well. I've got my life together. I'm getting ready to start going to school here soon, so that's a plus. But 
I just, I really want to be that platform to show that, you know, once, just because you're an addict or something like that, doesn't mean that you're down and out, you know? It just means that you're starting a little late and maybe with a little bit more knowledge. So I'd like to go hear the escape, escape game. Random, but whatever. Anyways, I'd really like to show, you know, everybody out there that's struggling with addiction or has in the past struggled with addiction, past, present, or prior, or I guess prior and past is the same thing. Prior and past is the same thing, yeah. Either way, I really want to show that just because you're an addict doesn't mean that you're always an addict. You, you don't have to be labeled as that for the rest of your life. You can be whatever you want to be. You know, I always grew up wanting to be an astronaut. Now, that one I don't see happening, but I always wanted to be an actor too. But, I don't know, we're gonna try for one of them. <laughs> uh, I don't know if either one will work, but if I don't try, then, then the only reason I didn't make it is because I didn't try. At least this way I can say I put in an effort and I gave it 100%. Soon I hopefully will be going to a casting building and trying to get casted in like the, the extras parts and stuff like that. So that should be fun, you know, learn how it goes and learn the tricks of the trade, learn how to hold a camera instead of crazy and bouncing the camera around or whatever. But, so that's just a little bit about me, you know what I mean? I'm Jonathan, I live in San Francisco. I'm from the East Coast. I'm from Virginia, born and raised. Um, Ashland, Virginia, I loved it there. San Francisco is great. It's got its ups and downs, just like every other city. I've lived in Philly, kind of bounced around all over the place. But this is the first time in quite some years that I've actually been able to enjoy life and, and actually see what it has to offer instead of, you know, trying to find the, the bad areas or going out looking for the wrong thing instead of going out and looking for life. So I kind of want to take everybody on that journey with me, you know, as I develop my life and, you know, start this channel and get everything moving in the right direction. I'm hoping that I can kind of get it on camera and show everybody and show the world that addiction is just one step in your life. You can get past it if, if you really want to. You just you have to buckle down and you have to do it. And there's people out here, especially in San Francisco, that are so willing to help. It's it's unbelievable. This Never did I think that I would have the help and yeah, really just the amount of help that has been given to me from the VA, from the state itself, and just people passing by, you know? It's, when it comes down to it, at the end of the day, San Francisco has a big heart. It really does. You're gonna find those people out here that don't want anything to do with you, but then you have people that are willing to drop everything and take the shirt off their back and hand it to you. So, I don't know. Just a little bit about me and another video. So this will be my second video I'm gonna put up. And we'll see, we'll see how it goes. Hopefully I get, get some good responses. And don't forget to email me if you wanna be interviewed. I'll start doing it as soon as possible. Whenever you're ready, as soon as I got people ready to do it, then I'm going to start putting them up. So just bear with me, and hopefully not after long, we'll get some videos up of, of the content I really want to do, and we'll have fun with it. So, all right. Nice talking to you. Later.